Scrapbooking.com magazine presents the following altered department article from the July 2000 issue, Springtime Birdcage Decor, by author and artist Jenny Chesnick. I am in love with making decor for my home. One of my favorite ways to do this is to pick up discounted items at my local craft or thrift store and turn them into something beautiful. When I saw this metal birdcage, I knew it had to be mine. Paper is such a versatile product to use on your projects, it can be manipulated many ways and can be used to make your own unique embellishments. I used one of my favorite dies from Quick Cuts to make the large pinwheels as the focal point in my project. I hope you enjoy my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own decorative birdcage. This is what you will need. For adhesive, you will need a hot glue gun, a glue glider Pro Extreme Tack, and U-Cut 3D foam. You will need pinwheel die cuts. You will need Hello Sunshine, Delights paper embellishments, Remark stickers, and fabric brads, as well as patterned paper, a circle punch, twine, and a birdcage. Using five different sheets of patterned paper, punch out 3.75 inch circles then cut the circles in half. As a baseline, I used the edge of one of the sheets of patterned paper, then started layering my half circles up the back. When you are finished layering the half circles, it should look something like this. The back side is by far the most time-consuming part of the project. Now onto the fun stuff, decorating. Once I was done with the back, I moved on to making some accents to decorate my birdcage. I use the Quick Cuts pinwheel die to create six pinwheels. This die is awesome. It not only cuts your lines, it also punches the holes you need to put your pinwheels together. I finished off the pinwheels with fabric brads. I used fabric because it is flat and creates a nice base for adding embellishments. I used the pinwheels as the base for the back, layering them up in a pleasing pattern. I also attached delights to the centers on several pinwheels. To finish up the project, I added some more elements from Hello Sunshine. I used pretty butterfly delights, remark stickers, and more floral designs. Once I inserted the back into the birdcage, I created a small circle banner to attach to the front alongside the other elements. To find the products mentioned in this article and shown in these layouts, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. Hi Glue Arts fans, my name is Jen Chesnick. I go by Ches too, a longtime family nickname that I married into and which kind of took a life of its own. I sell cheese and crackers by day for craft foods and by night I craft scrapbook and obsess over Pinterest and Facebook. Not only am I a social media addict, but I also watch almost all reality TV. It's quite ridiculous. Remember the real world? That's where it all started. When I'm not cooped up in the house, I like to travel. And don't be shocked, but I also love to camp. As long as I have Wi-Fi and a power strip, all is well in the world. I started scrapbooking in 2006 after seeing one of my mother's scrapbooks. I've always been a pretty crafty gal. Some of my favorite childhood memories are of making crafts in Girl Scouts and patching together random fabric pieces to make clothes. Paper crafting has turned into a full-on obsession. I teach locally as, work, as well as work for a few manufacturers. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening. For more creative inspiration, be sure to check out all of the great articles and projects in this issue of scrapbooking.com magazine.